Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep, and if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. And I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Have you ever been lost, afraid? You ever felt like you were just going in the wrong direction? Well, never fear, because Jesus is here. Dun, 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 dun. What is up, guys? It is your girl, Caitlin, here, and welcome back to another Life Talks with Caitlin. And today, you guys, we'll be discussing the parable of the lost sheep. In this parable, Jesus was confronted by the Pharisees and scribes in their minds. <laughs> they were murmuring and complaining, which they always do. If you've read the Bible in any part of the New Testament, you know that the Pharisees and the scribes always murmur and complain to Jesus and about him and just yada, yada, yada. But in today's parable, they were doing the same thing. They were complaining to him, well, not to him, but about him. They were complaining about him that he was eating with the sinners, the abused, the broken, the fornicators, the drug addicts, the abusers, the drunk, the prostitutes. And Jesus answered their concerns because he can hear their thoughts and he knows their hearts. He answers their concerns with speaking this parable. He spoke of a shepherd and his sheep. So, as you saw from the previous video, I read to you guys the actual parable. So, I wanted to explain to you guys, like break it down, like who is everybody in this parable? Like in the story, who are the characters pretty much? So, the shepherd represents Jesus Christ because he is our great shepherd, our good shepherd. Second, the 99. The 99 represents the body of Christ and the followers of Jesus Christ. And the one sheep represents the sinners, the lost ones who just don't follow Christ, and all the people that I named up there. The friends and the neighbors. So this is something that the Holy Spirit gave me. I was like, okay, so he, in the parable, he says that he calls his friends and neighbors over to celebrate um, the lost sheep being returned, right? So, I was like, who are the friends and the neighbors of Jesus, the great shepherd? And I was thinking that it was the angels and all of heaven because it says that all of heaven rejoices when one sin sinner repents of their sins. So, I was like, that makes a lot of sense. So, in this particular parable, he was speaking of the angels and all of heaven rejoicing, coming over to celebrate as friends and stuff <laughs> just coming over to celebrate so that was something really cool that i wanted to share with you guys and another part is when he picks up the sheep and put it on his shoulder it's just like jesus he's always carrying us <laughs> when we are down when we need his help he carries us he picks us up in our times of need so i also wanted to throw that in there with you guys so my reference scripture today is Psalms 23, and it's a very familiar passage, but if you don't know it, I'm going to say it for you right now. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me down the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
for thy are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So, for that being my reference scripture, it literally says the Lord is my shepherd, and that his staff, because you know all shepherds that herd sheep always have a staff. They can just kind of guide them and lead them, and he leads us down the path, so we follow the good shepherd. And he anoints our head with oil, and our cups runneth over. That's our spiritual side. And remember, guys, he has no desire for not even one to perish. So he is willing to wait on all of us to get it together so that we can all rejoin him and live in righteousness here on earth so that we can make heaven our home and we can be with Jesus wherever Jesus is. And that's what makes me most excited because we get to be with him and get to be where he resides. So guys, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you understood the parable of the lost sheep even the more. I'm so excited for you guys to see this video and I just really hope that you got it and that you understood it a little bit better because I know sometimes the parables of Jesus and the things that he taught could have been a little bit confusing. So I'm hoping that I cleared up some of the misconceptions, anything. So guys, until we meet again, Bye! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with all your friends so they can learn about the parable of the lost sheep too. Okay guys, come back next week every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for episode 3. And I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because it's a surprise. <laughs> Alright guys, bye! I love all of you. So guys, Remember this, Jesus is our good shepherd. He's our great shepherd. He has his rod and he is continuously leading us down the paths of righteousness. And we have the word of God with us to help us and lead us and guide us because he can't physically be here with us because he was once physically here, but he is risen. <laughs> but you guys, always remember, like I said in the parables and I was explaining it, he will leave the 99 and come and get that one. How do you know this, Caitlin? How do I know that? Because I was once that one sheep. My mom was once that one sheep. I know so many people who were once that one sheep. And he will leave the righteous. He will leave the just. He will leave the body of Christ just to come back and to get us so that we can rejoin the 99 and make it 100. So, Caitlin, how do I join the body of Christ? How can I rejoin the 99 and make it 100 so that all of heaven can rejoice because I am saved. Exactly. All we have to do is just get saved. All you have to do is just confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Believe it in your heart and confess it out of your mouth and receive the Holy Spirit so you can change and become the righteous. And remember guys, it doesn't happen overnight. But as soon as you accept him, I promise that you will start seeing a change in your life. Start reading the word afterwards. Just accept him into your heart, into your mind, and I promise he will fill you with joy, love, peace, long suffering, because he is so patient. He just loves us so, so much that he is willing to wait literally eternity for that one sheep so that all of heaven can rejoice and that the one sheep can join the 99 and we can all be 100 together. All right, guys. And remember, guys, he has no desire for not even one to perish. So he is willing to wait on all of us to get it together so that we can all rejoin him and live in righteousness here on earth so that we can make heaven our home and we can be with Jesus wherever Jesus is. And that's what makes me most excited because we get to be with him and get to be where he resides. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. 